this is the little town of Biagua, where I stayed last night. And I went to that restaurant last night, La Terraza. Very good. And I guess you can catch a bus here. Lots of shopping for such a small town. There are tons of uh, supermarkets. It must be the uh, go-to place for people who live like all over the area or something. As well as, of course, tourists. And the hotel that I stayed at was down here to the right. Speed bump. All right, let's get to the beach. This is Playa Panama. So I first heard about this beach about uh, 90 seconds ago. When I uh, took a left there, heading for Playa Hermosa, and saw the sign and just kind of got a little glimpse of the water and decided to uh, stop and take a look at my first Costa Rican beach. It's a little bit windy. Not going to stay here long, just uh, wanted to check it out, take a quick look. It's not that hot, especially with that breeze. But a uh, very chilled out scene here. I'm not in the jungle anymore. All right, nice spot here. I'm just gonna keep on cruising, see what Playa Hermosa is like, and then uh, maybe go to Playa Coco. I don't really know, you know, the difference between uh, these different beaches, so.
And this is Playa Hermosa. There is a very relaxed feeling in the air around here. Nice spot. And to get these shoes off, put these feet in the sand. Look at this, quite the sand fort. That took a lot of work there. All right, well, uh, I think I'm gonna keep on cruising and head next to Playa Coco. I haven't decided where I'm staying yet tonight. Haven't uh, looked at accommodation at all yet. So uh, just kind of scoping things out. And so this is Playa Coco. It seems to be more of a uh, proper town. I kind of heard more about it, so uh, I guess it is a more popular scene. I don't know, let's see what the uh, beach is like and how crazy it is. I'm ready to get a drink and also getting hungry, so uh, might make a stop here, maybe even for the night. Found a parking place over there. It's this uh, supermercado. So this is the restaurant scene. Nice. Hola. Greek restaurant. Sounds good. So today is December 31st. New Year's Eve. Hadn't really, uh... Hola, buenas tardes. Hadn't really been thinking about that much, but, uh... I guess there's gonna be a bit of a uh, party going on on the beach. Not that I'm really looking for a... big, uh, group of people to hang out in, but... We'll see what happens. Another nice looking bay. Not the clearest looking water there. I guess they probably got some of the uh, storms that I experienced last night. It was 
pouring down rain. Hardcore. I guess it is the uh, end of the rainy season going into the dry season, so uh, things will be getting warmer and drier. And nicer looking waters, I guess. Some cute little islands out there. Islets. But uh, I am exhausted, so I'm gonna uh, take a seat. I think at uh, one of these restaurants on the corner here. Grab a cerveza and chillax. Check the accommodation options. See what's available on uh, New Year's Eve. Soda Terracita. So a soda is a classic Costa Rican restaurant serving the uh, typical Costa Rican dishes. Let's try it out. Actually, I like the uh, looks of the Soda El Jardin. Garden. Nice uh, presentation here with the uh, sloths and the Christmas decorations. Tropical Garden. Found a room. This was the cheapest thing available for like miles. I checked various beaches going south from here. I was considering, you know, just doing a, a bit of a drive further, but uh, here at Coco then I uh, found this place. It is not cheap for being the cheapest thing now. 108 bucks. But it is New Year's Eve. There wasn't much available. Other rooms were two, three, four, five hundred bucks for the night. Uh, so this is cozy. A really awesome Russian guy manages this place. Good Wi-Fi. Getting my next uh, video uploaded. Cute little attached bathroom. It is going to do the trick. And then tomorrow I will keep on driving south from here and explore more of the beaches on the Nicoya Peninsula. Hasta luego. Buenas noches.